For more details, we're joined now by Thomas Backheimer, CEO of Meridian Commodity Advisors. Thomas, thanks very much for coming to talk to us. I guess if you want to work out how much of an influence speculators have on these markets, you first have to define speculators, and that seems to have taken up a lot of thinking this week in the oil markets. Hi, thank you for having me. I guess the speculation is playing a tremendous role in the market right now. But despite that, it's highly overestimated because speculators are never setting the trends. They are extending them and strengthening them. And to fight the speculation would be the wrong solution. You have to, you have to fight the cause and not the effects. It's like having a flu. You are having a flu and getting infected by a virus. And the effect of that is having fever. If you fight the fever... You can get rid probably of the fever, but not of the flu. So fight the real viruses and the real reasons for the high oil prices and not only the 15 to $20 reasons. But perhaps you could lessen the, sy the symptoms, uh, Thomas, by changing the legislation a little bit. Do you think that the CFTC in America is going to stop long-only investors, pension funds and, uh, and similar investors from investing in the oil price? I don't know whether they can do it, but it's my opinion that any regulation in markets are decreasing the market efficiency. That's the real uh, dangerous thing, especially with energy. If, if you regulate the market and the efficiency is not efficient anymore, I'm sorry, uh, then you have real troubles in, in, in supply. Absolutely. If we look at the fundamentals of uh, supply and demand, then, Thomas, we seem to see perhaps a little bit of ev evidence of demand destruction this week. The EIA data sent the oil price going lower, but that's only the United States. And really where we need to see demand destruction if we want to bring the oil price down is in Asia, isn't it? Yes, it could, could probably be, but I... I see complete different reasons for those high oil prices. Demand and supply equation is for sure is very important and the thirst of China and India, we all know about it. But I think it's much more an US dollar issue. It's the danger of the, of the US dollar money supply grows. Uh, the dollar uh, was growing with 85% since eight years and more money is competing for the same amount of barrel of oil. So uh, let's put it this way. In year 2007, we used uh, 87 million barrels of oil, and we paid $70 for it. Now we are using uh, 88 million barrels a day, and we are paying $140 uh, for that oil. So this, we use the double amount of money for the same amount of oil, almost same amount of oil. And this takes away some inflation pressure from the U.S. dollar, and I think this is very good for Fed and for Bernanke. So the U.S. currency is the winner of those high oil prices, and I think this is always very important to stress out, because if the money and supply are the demand and supply equation, we all know about it, and I think this is not the basic difficulty in the markets. Thomas, thank you very much for coming to talk to us. Thomas Backheimer, the CEO of Meridian Commodity Advisors. Thank you.